Last year, I gave you guys a log triangle. So this year, let me give you guys a sine triangle. Right here, it's a right triangle with sides, sine x, sine of 2x, and the hypotenuse being sine of 3x. And to my surprise, this right here actually works out very nicely. So if you want to try it first, go ahead and pause the video and try to figure out for what x will make this into a legitimate right triangle. If you don't want to try it, just watch the solution. Here we go. Of course, we can set this up by using the Pythagorean theorem. So square this, so we have sine x squared, and then we add this with that square, so we have sine of 2x, and then square that, and we make that equal to the hypotenuse squared, so we have sine of 3x, and then square. Next, we'll just have to make sure all the angles are the same, right? This right here is nice, this is already sine square x, but for sine of 2x, we can use the double angle identity, which is just 2 times sine x times cosine x, and of course right here we square that. Hmm, do we have a triple angle identity for sine? Yes. So this right here is just 3 sine x minus 4 sine to the third power x, and then raise that to the second power. Now, we'll just fix this and that. This right here is already nice, sine square x. And we add 2 square and then all that, right? So we have 4 and then sine square x. But for cosine square, let's just write everything in terms of sine. Cosine square is the same as 1 minus sine square x. And that is equal to expand this. We square the first term. So 3 square is 9 and then that square and then minus 2 times this and that, 2 times this is 6, minus times that is 24, and then this times that, sine to the 4th power x. Whew, a lot, right? Lastly, square this, which is plus 16, sine to the 6th power. Wow. Yeah, we have an equation in terms of sine, and then this is to the 6th power. But let me just expand this a little bit, so we are looking at sine square x plus... This times that is 4 sine square x minus 4 sine to the fourth power x. And that is equal to all that, which is 9 sine square x minus 24 sine to the fourth power x plus 16 sine to the sixth power x. Woo. Now, combine like terms. I'm going to start with this term, and I'll put it on the left-hand side. So we are looking at 16 sine to the 6th power x. We don't see a 6th power equation often, yeah? So, enjoy the moment. Next, be careful right here. We have negative 24 sine to the 4th power. We will have to add a 4 sine to the 4th power, so that will give us negative 20. So that will be minus 20 sine to the 4th power x. And then here, this plus that is 5 sine squared. We will have to subtract 5 sine squared on both sides. 9 minus 5 is plus 4, and then sine to the second power x equals 0. Aha! Let's take a look. Everybody has a factor of 4, likewise sine squared, so let's factor that out. So we have 4 sine squared x times, this right here will give us 4 sine to the second power, to the fourth power actually, and then minus 5, because we took out that, and then sine square x, and then this right here is just out, so it's plus 1 equals 0. Can we factor more? Yes. So this right here stays 4 sine square x. All right, look at this as a quadratic in terms of sine square. All right, so this is 4, and then this is 1, and then here we have minus 5. So in fact, we can just do this 4 sine square x minus 1 times sine square x minus 1. This times that will give us minus sine squared. This times that will give us minus 5 sine squared. Together we get that, so that's nice. And that's equal to 0. Do you guys like factoring? I hope you do, because let's just factor this all the way. So this right here stays, all right? So just 4 sine square x. Okay, difference of two squares. So this right here is just 2 sine x minus 1 times 2 sine x plus 1, and that is just going to be sine x minus 1 times sine x plus 1. 
Okay. Now, of course, we have a lot of solution from here, but we have to also make sure that our triangle is satisfied, right? Meaning that all the sides shall be a positive number. No zero, no negative number, no imaginary number, no I, nothing like that, okay? So let's see which one makes sense. If I put this to be zero, I'm saying that sine x has to be zero, that violates this side, so no. If I put this to be zero, that looks legit. So I'm just going to look at two sine x minus one. We do have to consider that to be zero. From here, you can see that sine x at one divided by two, sine x should be one half. So it, it looks promising. Next, well, it's pretty much the same thing, but that will give us sine x being negative one half. I don't want negative side, so not this factor. Next, if you put this right here, sine x minus 1 to be 0, we are saying that sine x is equal to 1. Put it here, it looks legit. But if sine x is equal to 1, let me tell you, this will imply sine of 2x equals what? 0. 0. Why? Because think about sine of what angle will give us 1? sine of pi over 2 was 3 pi over 2 oh sorry sorry just pi over 2 right sine of pi over 2 will give us 1 if you put pi over 2 here that will give us sine of pi which is 0 that violates this side so not that either so no so so far let's get rid of this get rid of that get rid of this this right here we are looking at sine of x equals negative 1 again violates that so that's the only factor that we will consider if we want to end up with a legitimate right triangle. So in another word, we're trying to find out sine of x is equal to one half. And we do have infinitely many solutions for that too. In fact, if we use the reference triangle method, we have two reference triangles. So check this out. We can say this is the y and this is the r. So let's draw the first right reference triangle, which is one over two like this, one here, two here. And this angle, it's a special right triangle, 1, 2. This is square root of 3. So that's 30 degree, 60 degree, 90 degree. 30 degrees pi over 6. So the first answer, x equals pi over 6. And of course, once we have this, we can keep adding and subtracting 2 pi. So right here, we can just say plus 2 pi, where n is an integer. Let's see the other reference triangle which is right here, 1 and 2. And then, of course, this right here is negative square root of 3. This angle is still pi over 6, but we have to measure the angle from here to here, which that will give us the whole thing is pi. That's pi over 6, so this is 5 pi over 6. It seems legit because sine of x being 1 over 2, right? However, check this out. If we have sine of pi, 5 pi over 6, yes, this is 1 over 2. But if we put this right here with that 2, this is sine of 2 times 5 pi over 6. Do we get a positive number? Do we get a positive number? This right here is the same as looking at sine of 5 pi over 3. 5 pi over 3 is in the third quadrant already. This right here is going to be a negative number. And you might be wondering why this is true, because we square all this. So if you square a negative, it still can satisfy the Pythagorean zero. But we have to make sure that it makes sense for the triangle. So unfortunately, unfortunately, we don't consider this either. So don't consider this. So ladies and gentlemen, the only answer is that x is equal to pi over 6 plus 2n pi, where n is an integer. And just real quick, let me show you guys that it does work. And I will just plug in the pi over 6 into all the x's. I'm going to leave this for you guys, okay, because I don't have enough space. So here we go. We are looking at sine of pi over 6. And of course, we have to square that. And then we are going to add this with sine of 
2 times pi over 6, and then we have to square that. And do we end up with sine of 3 times pi over 6 squared? Hmm. This right here is just 1 half. Of course, square that. This right here, sine of pi over 3, is square root of 3 over 2. And then square that. And lastly, this is just sine of pi over 2, which is 1. And square that. This is what? It's just 1 over 4. And this right here is just 3 over 4. And this right here is, of course, equal to 1. So as you can see right here, it does check, right? <sighs> Ruin the squares. No, there. Okay. It does check. That's the answer. I think this is super cool because we did. In fact, I didn't know it was going to be this cool because I 